It's time for another closer look at a key Kentucky Derby contender. What's up, guys? Jared Welch from RacingDudes.com. Over at the website right now, we are we are doing every contender for the uh, 2022 Kentucky Derby. Every contender that's a possible starter for this race in May, we are doing profiles for each one of those horses. And I've got, you know, I, I did six, and, and uh, everyone on the team has got a, a handful of these horses. And first one I want to start with here is Zandon. How about Zandon? This is a horse that, you know, I'll be honest, I was against zandon going into the bluegrass and i won't say really against it was more like he needs he hasn't done anything he needs to prove that he is a legit contender well guess what he did the bluegrass was really really impressive effort you know he, he kind of weaved through traffic and got really a taste of what i know it's not the 20 horse field we're used to, you know that we're in the he'll see in the derby but he got used to some of the traffic and some issues and this horse seems to be getting better with each start he so he has a little bit of a profile here. He, he breaks his maiden back in October, goes to the Remsen in December, runs a really good race to Mo Donegal. I mean, you could you could argue that thing could have gone to Zandon, um, whether just by a little racing luck or a, a possible DQ there. You remember the the Remsen was in a mile and eight. So then he has a long break, well, it's a semi long break into February to the Risen Star, and you kind of watch that, you know. And I'll be I'll, I'll be honest, I was a kind of uh, maybe a little too hard on this effort, you know, after this race. Um, you watch the Zandon there. He hops out of the break. Um, you know, he's in last. And he, you know, he runs third, a good third at Epicenter and Smile Happy. Mike, I would have liked to have seen him out finish Smile Happy there. But hey, cue the bluegrass where he did. And this horse evolved even more. Another mile and eighth race. This horse has ran three straight mile and eighth races. Not a lot in this field can say that. He definitely feels like he gets better the, the, the further they go, the more when it hits a stride late into uh, these races. Now, my concern with Zandon is that his running style needs to, he, he needs to be closer to the, to the, uh, to the pace, um, especially when they turn for home. He's going to have too much to do if he starts running these races. Uh, if he continues to run his races like he has. Been. Now, Pratt is aboard again. Huge, huge move there. I love that Pratt's there. And listen, remember a horse named Country House? Now, yeah, he didn't win. He did. He won. He didn't finish first, but we know the, how that goes. But the key to Country House running such a big race in the Kentucky Derby was Flavian Pratt got aboard, and all of a sudden, that race started, and you're like, oh, wow, he's closer than he usually is. Because Country House, if you remember, was a horse that just came from the clouds, kind of banged up there for second, third, and occasionally would win. Well, he was closer this time. Got him in a great position. They turned for home, and he was there. I, I, Zandon, with Pratt aboard, should be able to get more of a strategic position where he can sit off that pace a little bit closer and maybe use that kick late down the stretch. Now, that all goes out the window if he can't break. And this is a horse that just seemingly has had somewhat of an issue with breaking out of the gate. You watch the back of the Risen Star, boom. Uh, you know, hops last place. Watch the bluegrass. Boom. He, uh, you know, he's, he's a little bit of a slow starter. He's in last place. Now, I did get a little bit more tactical position there. Um, but again, that wasn't the deepest of fields either. So maybe it wasn't so difficult. He's going to need a break. But if Pratt can get him in position, you know, I don't see a reason why he, to me, out of, of you know, there's a few in here, but he's the one that maybe is has the most intrigue on the upside um because he just we just he continues to get better you know he, he every single buyer every single performance of his of his career has been better than the last race and it you know being his third start of the year third start as a three-year-old kind of feels like chad brown might be able to uh you know at, least, at the very least it feels like one of his best shots you know go back to good magic and that's you know, we'll get to table later, but, you know, good magic would have won had it not been for Justify. And are we going to say Zandon would have won if it not for Taba? We'll get to that. But I think Taba has a legit shot to win the 2022 Kentucky Derby. Head over to RacingDudes.com for more. You know, stay here on the YouTube page. We have content for all these contenders upcoming. You name the horse you like. Go search for it. We have a profile for that horse. RacingDudes.com. Leave your comments below. See you next time. 
This has been a presentation of RacingDudes.com, your destination for all things horse racing and sports betting. Whether you want free winners, expert insider picks, up-to-the-minute trackside weather reports, or podcasts and videos for bettors of all skill levels, never make another wager without visiting the Racing Dudes first.